some of these, um, this comes as a kit. So I got the breakout board and the eight pin, um, sorry, all these power cables with it. So that's, this card is technically connected. So I could turn this on and it, it well, we could see this on Hive OS if we wanted to, but I'm gonna add another card anyway. And what I'm gonna add is my final, um, my final MSI Supreme uh, card. So it comes with a nice um, mouse map, but I've got way too many now. So if anyone wants a mouse map, just let me know. Okay, cool. So here's a card. Um, this one is brand new, I haven't used it, but I have been using, um, I've got another 11 running at the moment and I'm quite happy with this card. It's probably my favorite out of the ones that I've got. So when you first get a card, obviously, if you bought a card before, you know that there's a protective cover on the PCI Express port. And if I can get this out, oh, that's probably why. Here we go. So this is it. This is quite a, quite a card actually. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the protector off and then can connect it. Now, I'm not gonna put it too close because I just don't want too much heat. So I'm gonna put it on PCI Express. That's the fourth port. So we've got one, two, three, and four. So what we'll do, we'll get another power cable. And we'll plug it into this one here. And that one will go, we'll take the additional two pins off. So we'll use number four. So it's this one here. And here's a card, so we'll pop that on here. So technically, this is ready to go. Well, not yet, sorry. I have to add this on as well. So now we power the card as well. This uses two eight pins, so it's pretty straightforward. I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it's pissing down in uh, London. Probably most of the UK, to be fair. Okay, there we go. So these are connected. Um, so now let's plug it into the power supply unit. So there we go. What we can do, we can test two cards. So I'm just gonna double check I've got everything sorted. And then, there we go. So what we'll do, Got the cards, got the RAM. That's it, so we can uh, power this, this, this on. Uh, so with this, with the breakout board, um, you just literally just press, uh, I, if, if you've got two PSUs, you can sync it. I don't, I'm only using one for this, which is great. So I'll just uh, press start and then that's it, it should, should power up. Uh, nothing should blow, um, you hear it boot up. can turn the LEDs off this one. So basically we're just waiting for this to boot up. Already it's it's on here because I've created the worker, but because um, the flight sheet isn't available. Oh, I haven't created a flight sheet actually, that's why. So we'll give it a minute. And to be fair, I should probably just turn the monitor on. And then we can see, I usually just um, blind, blindly uh, boot up, but yeah, there we go. So Hive OS is loaded up on here. We should see it. If we do a flight sheet. Ah, oh, this, this is not connected. That's probably why I can't see it on here. So if we look on here now, Do you know what will be easy? I'll just power off. So if we power back on, there we go. So 
So that's all booting up, that's great. I've also got a 2060, I've got a 3090 and I've got a 3060 here. So I don't know what I'll put on here, but we'll figure it out as we go on. So there we go, we've got four online now, and it will also tell me that there's two cards. Obviously there's no flight sheet, so it doesn't really know what it's doing. But what I'm gonna do while I'm at it, I'll just upload because the LOL miner has got uh, a 360 unlimiter, so I might try that out with this. Um, I'm gonna upgrade that, let that upgrade, and then we'll create the flight sheet as well. Here we go, so. Gonna create a new flight sheet just for this. So I'm gonna do ETH. We're gonna use my ledger account, and then I use. Do you know what? What we'll do? Ah, oh, sorry. I use Hive on Pool Europe. Check that, and then let's try. I've never used LOL Miner on Hive OS, so we'll use that. Actually, no, what we'll do, we'll use F minor, which is what I normally use. And I use the fork. What fork do I use? Um, NSF minor, apparently it's got zero um, fees. And that's it, I'll create that. And I'll call this BTC D37 number two. Create flight sheet. Now this flight sheet's on here, so I've written on which which one's which. So if we go back onto the workers, and then go on to this, uh, it's saying miss flight sheet because there's not a flight sheet on here. So let's apply this flight sheet, and then that will basically tell the card what to mine. So. If you look on here, it's basically, basically, um, oh, I think it's still updating actually. So we'll let that update. And obviously once you've got everything set up, you can overclock and everything. I'm at 758 mega hash, but I reckon with these two, I should be at probably eight. 40. Um, so here we go. If we go on to this, and that seems to be booting, it is booting NSF minor now. It's running that, uh, it's creating the DAG file, which takes a few minutes. But we can always refresh this. There we go. So now I've got the temperature, this fan speed. The MSI is pretty good, it doesn't really get too hot, which is why I like it. Okay, so there we go, we got a bit of activity. We've got 11 kilohash and it will uh, go more and more as, uh, as it goes on. So we can look on here, right now we're getting 88 mega hash, so we can refresh this, should tell us. So the MSI um, 3070 is giving us 51 mega hash and the uh, 3060 Super is giving us 36. I'm not gonna optimize this now, I'm simply just showing you how quickly and easy it is to set up. Um, so that's two cards done. Um, let's just do another while we're at it. So we'll do the 2060. I don't really like that card because it gets too hot, but we'll do it anyway. So all we do, shut down the worker. This will all shut down once it gets a command.
sometime today. There we go, that's, that's off. So this is all off now. I turn this back to sync, synchronize, just so that it doesn't boot while I'm connecting everything up. So let's do the 2060. I'll probably do the 2060 furthest away because it's so bloody hot. There we go, that one goes in there. This is light, so it literally stays straight. Um, now I'm going to connect this again. What we do, we connect the um, the power supply. So we'll put that on number eight because we're using number eight, and that's done. And then we'll get one more cable, and we'll connect um, the card as well. That's used as an eight pin. So let me just clip that on. That's done. And let me just sort these cables out. So that's another card added. To be fair, what we can do, we can just add one more. What I'm gonna do is play around with this 3060 with LOL minor. Um, I need to read up a few things. I think I've used this once, but but it was limited, so I just thought I'll forget that. Um, so yeah, put this card in. What I should probably do is power up the uh, 